Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. First off, I'd like to say I'm really sorry about the lack of videos and the upload schedule going completely to hell. There will be a video out on why that is, the reasons behind my sort of disappearance, as it were. Um, but hopefully, I'm going to get back to doing the best I can with uploads. I may just make them once every two weeks at the moment, just for a bit. But I don't know. I haven't decided. I haven't decided on anything. This video is going to be a look at the projects I've got going at the moment, what I'm, where I am with those projects, um, because a lot of things I record bits and pieces of as I do it, um, and then it could be months before they come out. So I'd like to show you where I am with them, and then you can sort of get a rough idea of where, where and when they'll come out, hopefully. Um, so I've got quite a few different things on the go at the moment, and I've got a few projects I'd like to do, um, which I slowly save the bits I need for or save up for buying them you know so let's have a quick look at the different ones that I've got going at the moment right the first project and the most well I think the most recent was the um, K40 laser bed and this is the closest to being completely finished um, I've got a bit of coding to do on the Arduino which a friend of mine called David is helping me with he was a little bit out of my ballpark. Um, I've been doing other coding for the last year and I've just completely forgotten how to use an Arduino almost com entirely. So um, when I came to coding, I thought oh, it would be relatively easy and I struggled. So I asked him and he's he's taken on board that and he's been helping me with that, which is great. Um, I need to make the actual bed. I've got a, a steel sheet, which I'm probably just going to get magnets and use them to raise off the, the actual steel sheet. Um, and then I need to make an enclosure for the whole thing. Um, so that's where I am with that. So it's coding, enclosure, and this. So it shouldn't be too long, depending on how the coding goes. There's been a few issues with the coding. Um, it was working fine. Um, basically, I've got it so when you turn it on, we'll find the bottom, then find the top, and then works out exactly where it was, etc. And then it will display it on a screen, etc. But it started doing that fine. And then when you tried to use the joystick to move it up and down by a millimeter, it just slowed right down like the power was going. So I changed power, changed this, changed that, and for some reason something went, and I'm not sure whether it was hardware or software. So we've been having a little problem with that, but that is still in the works. Right, project number two. The second project is the bed sound system. This automatically connects via Bluetooth to my phone, and these fire directly into the headboard of my bed. So... Hopefully it shouldn't be too loud for everyone and it means I can listen to audio. I changed the design, not on camera, but I've changed the design recently, um, so that. So this one's firing in towards the headboard and I'm lying here. And then this one will be firing in this way to the other side of the headboard. But this one is movable, so I can actually move it so it can fire directly at me. And so I can listen to normal sounds without lying down or I can have a better vibration through the headboard kind of thing. Um, that's a pain in the bum to design, um, because I'm, I've set myself the task of not 3D printing anything. If I was 3D printing something for this, I could probably have it knocked out in about half an hour, you know, a few hinges and a few bits and bobs, but I'm trying to do it all with my laser. So I'm trying to just make it out of wood, and there's a few issues I'm coming into contact with. I will do it, but this one's, uh, it, it, it's involving me using my brain a bit more than usual. But the electronic side of thing is all done. Um, it's just a case, well, I say all done. I may be adding another amplifier um, and I may have an on-off switch for this speaker. So the one that's into the headboard is always on and then I've got the choice of turning the other one on as well for extra sound. But th that's relatively close to being finished too. There's just a few bits more I need to do. On to project number three. Okay, so this is going to be the K40 cooling system to cool down the water that goes through the laser that stops the laser burning out. So far, I've got an ammo tin, which is going to be the vessel that holds the water in that gets cooled. Um, I've got Peltier modules, um, which I'll go into a whole video on how they work, why they work, and ways of increasing you know the cooling or heating effect you want i've got fans pumps i've got a very very old um computer fan a pcu um not computer fan power supply unit um which i'm going to consider swapping out for a newer one just to make it more efficient um and then i've got piping and various other things and the idea with this is it's going to 
have all these stuck to the side um, and they're going to cool the water down there'll be tubes going through it and various other things but that is a project that I'm still getting bits for I've got things like uh, thermo grease I've got thermo compound I've got all sorts of stuff but I'm, I'm not quite sure if I've got everything I need yet I've got to have a quick look through my designs and so on um, but I've got most of the expensive stuff it's taken me a long time to save enough money for these and um, for the tin was about £25 so you know it's it's not cheap but it's a lot cheaper than if I was to buy one as long as it works it's cheaper than if I was to buy a commercial one but that's where I am there I've got a few things that I've sort of laser cut doing test designs on various bits and bobs um, again uh, I'm not quite ready to be able to do this as a video yet but I'm getting close and finally the things I can actually show you is um, I would like to make a power pack um, I've got a lot more batteries than this. These are 18650. These are old, reclaimed from um, old laptop batteries. Um, I want to make a big one, quite, you know, hefty sized, um, that will be solar chargeable. I might even have little wind turbines. I'm not sure. I, I haven't decided. But ways of there, there's going to be multiple ways of charging it. Basically, when I'm better and we go camping, it would be really helpful to have a power pack. Now, I don't want to break anyone's illusions, but if someone's recording themselves in the in nature and they're doing camping, etc., whatever, they've got camera equipment with them. It's not just you're not looking through a magical lens at this person who's just doing things camping-wise. So, um, we, you need camping equipment. You need lighting if it gets dark, etc. You know, it's it's all well and good having night vision um, cameras and stuff. But, you know, an hour's worth of video shot at night vision, your eyes start to go funny if you're watching it. So you don't want that. So, you know, you need lighting, you need cameras, you need to be able to charge various bits and pieces. So I want a piece of um, kit that will be able to charge everything we've got and re recharge when we're on the road, when we're, when we're out and about, it can still be recharging. So, for example, if and when we get land, we can have this charging in the sun, um, or, as I say, wind turbine, water wheel, whatever, it's got different ways of charging it, and then we can use it for a variety of different things. So that is why I bought this um, battery spot welder. I had started building one, and I came across so many problems with it that I thought when this came out I think it was twenty dollars when it came out I was like I've got to get it as if it works that saved me all that effort and that all that problem so now I've got loads of bits of um, battery spot welders that I've got nothing to do with but it taught me how to 3d model in um, Fusion 360 so something good did come out of it but anyway as I say, I've got a, a, I've probably got about 200 batteries that I need to go through and check, check that they work, fully charge them, leave them for a certain amount of time, and do all that jazz. So I'm going to have to do a whole video on, from getting the batteries out of some um, laptop batteries, well, getting the 18650 batteries out of the plastic case that's the laptop battery, charging them up. Um, discharging them to see how much they've got in them etc etc checking if they're any good and then making the battery pack now I've lost a lot of confidence in doing this I don't know why but it's just sort of like been one of those tasks that has scared me a bit so I've got tons and tons of tiny little battery um, battery boards um, I've got massive ones um, when I say battery board, I mean a BMS, a battery management system. I've got big ones, small ones, cardboard box. Um, and uh, yeah, I just for some reason lost confidence in doing this. So I had loads and loads of batteries ready and I'd separated them out and I checked them all. And slowly over time, they've all got mixed and matched back into each other. So I'm going to have to do it all over again. So that is my project. Um, I would like to do that for a project that I haven't got much sort of I can't show you but I will have a chat about that in a minute but if I get um, a decent sized battery set up a big one I will be adding it to a project that I'm over the last year or so been working on which I'll talk to you about now before my hips were diagnosed with all sorts of problems and so on I um, wanted to make a solar electric bike and I wanted it to be as efficient as possible you know when you press the brakes or when you're going downhill it would charge itself all that kind of jazz and I wanted to make it this truly epic piece of machinery 
um, it would test my um, electronics, it would test my welding, it would test my soldering, it would test woodwork, it would test all that kind of thing and my planning. And I thought it would be the most amazing project. Um, then, uh, literally weeks later, I was diagnosed and various other things, so it just got put back on the back burner. Um, I will talk about all this in a video probably next week, um, what I'm sort of alluding to. But, um, I don't want to have it on the back burner as such anymore. I've got a small in-spoke motor, which is designed just to sort of turn the back wheel. It's not built into the back wheel. But I've also got two pretty big, I'm not sure how efficient, I'm not sort of sure how good, um, but, um, front and back wheel motors. So I'm not sure what to do. I'm not sure whether to use the little back wheel one and have that um, to push the bike along, but have a small, um, almost like trailer at the back, which holds extra battery packs and like the brains of the, the outfit, and then have that having the um, two motors on it, and they can be the push me up a hill motors and things like that. Um, I haven't decided. There's so much um, planning to do on that, and I'd love to make that a collaborative thing where you guys help me with it and come up with ideas and so on and so on. Um, a lot of you out there will know a lot more than I do about all of this subject, and any help is, you know, really, really appreciated. But yeah, I just, I'm, I'm not sure what to do and how to do it and, you know, where to go. So I'm just at the beginning stages of that. But if I do get a decent battery bank set up, then I might build the trailer and the sort of bike around that so that I've got this battery uh, bank that can come out and be, you know, pull along a bolt if needs be, but that would be part of this bike so it gives me a lot, lot more distance and so on. Um, again, it's a future project, but it's one that I'd like to get you guys interested in if possible, and then you can help out if, if you want to, if that's, you know, if that's something you're really interested in. In the next video, I'll be talking to you about uh, my upcoming operations and various other bits and bobs and what I need to do to be able to sort of give myself a little bit of freedom. Um, it's going to be a bit of a strange one for me because I don't obviously... It's not one of these things you feel like you're going to talk to lots of people about, but I think you guys deserve it. You know, you're always part of the family and you've always been there watching the videos. So I think it's only fair to explain what's going on, why I've been so... Um, intermittent with my uploads and so on and so on but um, I hope this gave you sort of some idea that you know I'm not even when videos aren't coming out I am still working in the background but it's just you know it's just taking me longer to do these things nowadays but um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed I would really appreciate it uh, if you've got a spare, a spare penny or two go over to Patreon. If you haven't, don't, don't worry about it you know it's a weird time in the world and a lot of people don't have a lot of money it's fair enough. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye for now.